Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at designing observations and this is for the OCR A2 psychology spec. Designing observations. Observers can note behaviour in one of two ways. Event sampling, which is where an event is recorded each time that it occurs. In this type of sampling, observers use an obs observation schedules or observation categories. Time sampling. This is two subsections. Time point sampling, where the observer records what the participant is doing at fixed intervals, e.g. every 5 seconds or every 20 minutes. And two, time event sampling. This is where a fixed period of time is set for observations, e.g. the first 10 minutes of every hour. Using time sampling means that the observers have a more manageable way of sampling the behaviour that they are interested in. However, in the periods when they are not observing, they may miss some behaviours and consequently end up with invalid data. In structured observations, behavioural categories are re required. The observer will devise an observation schedule so that what behaviours are going to be observed and how it is going to be observed is decided upon before the observation takes place. This is a form of event sampling. The advantages of using categories in observation are that they provide quantitative data which can be analysed to draw comparisons between participants or groups. The disadvantages of using categories is that it gives us a restricted view of what is happening as the researcher may miss important behaviours that aren't part of the behavioural categories and this can result in data which is not as in-depth. Here is an example of an observation checklist if you want to have a look at that. Um, so coding frames, um, coding frames are useful as they enable psychologists to analyse qualitative data. This is where the re researcher observes behaviours, identifies key features of those behaviours and then codes them. This can be achieved in stages, for example in a study on, on the behaviour of children, they could first identify how the children behave when alone, when with an authority figure and when playing with their friends. Categories of behaviours can then be identified the observation can then continue with the behaviour being noted in the appropriate category. Finally, analysis can be carried out and comparisons can be made. Content analysis. An observer can code written material, for example articles or newspapers, or filmed material such as soap operas or films. Um, this is known as a content analysis. This type of observation cannot breach the ethical guidelines as the information being observed is already in the public domain. Content analysis can also be used to code and observe qualitative data and turn it into quantitative data. Um, thank you for watching that short presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and made some notes as you went along. And I'll be making some more videos, so make sure you check those out. Thank you very much.